Good afternoon. My name is Jim Liskoven. I am with Nationwide Boiler. Our objective today is to walk you through a rental installation process and to show you what it takes to, to set, to level, and to uh, pipe in a rental boiler at your facility. The first part of the boiler installation process is the delivery of the boiler. We got out here a little bit earlier and we made some marks on the concrete as, as to where we wanted this boiler to sit to facilitate the piping process. With the rental boiler now set in position, we can kind of go over some of the things that make our rental equipment uh, easier to install. One of the largest things that really helps is a hydraulic leveling ram in the front. It's powered off an onboard gas engine, and what that allows us to do is once the, the tractor disconnects, we can raise and lower the entire trailer off of its onboard hydraulic ram to facilitate the, the leveling of the trailer. Some of the piping connections, starting in the corner, are the continuous surface blowdown. This allows the TDS to be maintained at uh, optimum levels. We also utilize a sample cooler, which allows accurate testing of the, of the boiler water to ensure that the TDS is at appropriate uh, levels. For shipping purposes, we separate the combustion air inlet hood and the main uh, eight inch steam stop check valve and set it on the gooseneck so that it reduces the overall height of the trailer during shipping. Toward the front of the boiler, we have the water column drainage tree. This consists of low water cutoff pressure troll lines, all manifolded together into a single manifold that will be piped to a safe direction. Within the stainless steel panel are all of the oil control components. We have the oil strainer, oil supply pump, pressure reducing valve, plus a pneumatic safety shutoff oil valve, as well as an oil control valve. The rear deck of the trailer provides a, a good operating platform from which to access the, the on-off switch, the modulation controls, the loop controllers, and other important operating uh, components. Also provides a gauge rack with all of the, the primary pressures and whatnot that you might need while operating the equipment. We provide a four inch, 150 pound single point gas connection. We utilize a Y strainer because often during the temporary installation of uh, boilers, welding, slag, and other materials moves down the gas line. So we make sure that we provide the means to capture that before it enters the gas drain. The flame safeguard control and combustion control panel is equipped with two Siemens loop controls, one to handle steam pressure, firing rate modulation control, the other for drum level. These typically come fully programmed and only need to be set for the customer's specific operation requirements. Typical lights, high water, low water, limit satisfied to give the operator an indication of what phase within the uh, firing cycle the burner is in. The main three phase power panel provides bottom inlet so that we don't need to worry about rain or anything like that entering the panel. It also provides single point connectivity for all three phase and single phase wiring throughout the boiler. The pre-piped and pre-wired modulating feed water train consists of a single point of connection, in this particular case, utilizing the customer's feed water system, a modulating control valve, and valve connections for an optional economizer that can be used with or without this unit. When assembling a rental boiler project, we often ask for a great deal of information. This is to help ensure that we understand your needs and assemble the equipment that best fits your particular project. Whether you gather the information or whether we gather the information for you during a site visit, the information is brought back right here to our Fremont, California Engineering Department, where our engineering staff reviews your needs and selects the appropriate equipment. Once the engineering tasks are complete and the equipment is shipped to the job site, it's time to go install it. So let's go see what an installation looks like. Welcome back. As you can see, a lot has changed since we were last here. All of the upfront work that was accomplished by Nationwide Boiler and our customer went together to produce a really solid rental project. At the end of the day, this is what we strive to accomplish. By working up front with the customer, we're able to provide them with a system that does exactly what they need to be done. It meets all of the required steam requirements in addition to the Air Pollution Control District requirements. On behalf of our entire Nationwide Boiler team, my name is Jim Liskoven, and we look forward to working with you.